Cell reproduction. The cell cycle is also known as cell reproduction. In prokaryotes and eukaryotes, this process happens all of the time. In eukaryotes, it, we need to remember that they contain a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. They asexually reproduce, or they divide, by a process called mitosis for several purposes. One is to repair damaged cells, like if you get a bruise, you need to repair the cells that were damaged. Another is for the growth of the organism, such as when you start out as a baby, you're much smaller than you are today. And finally, for the development of the organism. Uh, this really relates to when a cell goes from being a general cell to having a specific purpose uh, so that we can differentiate the different organs in our body. Your liver cells do a different job than your eye cells. Your eye cells do a different job than your brain cells. Th that's called development. So the cell cycle has several stages in its growth and division. There's a stage called interphase, which has three substages, the G1 phase, the S phase, and the G2 phase. And then there's the M phase, or mitosis. And then finally, there's cytokinesis. This happens as a cycle, meaning there's no real start or end to the process. But generally, when we're learning about the cell cycle, we start by talking about interphase. Interphase is a resting stage. In interphase, your cells are carrying on all their normal activities. They are uh, doing respiration and producing energy and maintaining homeostasis and producing all of the chemicals that your body needs in order to function. In this stage, your chromosomes aren't visible. Your DNA is in strand form, so it's just kind of a big clump of DNA, but you don't see those characteristic chromosomes that you do uh, in pictures when you look up pictures of chromosomes and cell metabolism is occurring so you know the cell is producing energy you getting rid of waste and doing all the things that a cell does this stage occurs before mitosis so here you see cells in interphase you can see uh, cell membrane cell walls have been stained so that they're visible and then the darker purple circles are the nucleus and inside the nucleus would be where you have your DNA then we move into the first phase of interphase. G1 is known as that because it's the first growth stage. So here's where your cells start to increase in size. They start to get bigger and they prepare to copy their DNA. The next subphase of interphase is the synthesis phase. It's called synthesis. Synthesis means to make and it's called synthesis because in this phase your DNA makes a copy of itself. All of the DNA's instructions are copied so they can be passed on to the new cell. Chromosomes are also duplicated, meaning made double. And then the final part of interphase is called the growth to phase. This is the time between DNA synthesis and mitosis. And in this phase, you know, your cell goes back to just doing metabolism, uh, continues growing and doing its normal activities. It also is the phase where some needed proteins for the next part of the cell cycle are produced. Then we have mitosis, called the M phase. Here's where cell growth and protein production stop. The cell has to focus on other things at this time, so they stop growing, they stop getting bigger, and they don't produce any more proteins. Maybe you can imagine that if the proteins that are needed hadn't been produced before mitosis, then it's very likely that you would have errors in mitosis, which could lead to certain cancers or uh, certain other problems with your cells. Generally, if this happens in one or two or even a hundred cells, that's not a big deal. Your body just gets rid of them. But if it happens more in a more widespread fashion, this is a problem. The cell is using its energy here to make two daughter cells. And this process is called either mitosis or karyokinesis, which is nuclear division. So here we see the life cycle of a cell. Keep in mind that this is a cycle with no beginning and no end. But if you look down here in the corner, you can see what's happening in each of the phases that we're going to talk about. The 
red and the orange are the DNA. You can see as it makes a copy, those DNA uh, chromosomes get split and then two new cells form. Let's take a look at these individual phases. Here's an, a picture, uh, a microscopic picture of um, cells going through various stages of mitosis. You can see some are in interphase, some the DNA has been made and it's starting to split. Uh, here we have chromosomes lined up along the middle and here chromosomes are lined up along the middle and they're, they will eventually get pulled apart and in this one you can see the DNA has been pulled apart and you're, you start to see two new nuclei forming and then this cell would split right across the middle there. So let's look at those stages of mitosis. The first stage is prophase. So we've had interphase, which had some subphases. Now we're moving into mitosis, which is the major part where all the action happens, so to speak. And this has subphases as well. Prophase, metaphase, an anaphase, and telophase. Just remember, if you need to remember those that order, PMAT. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And then after mitosis, you have cytokinesis, which means the division of the cytoplasm and all the organelles within it. So this is where it divides up all the rest of the organelles, all the mitochondria, all of the endoplasmic reticulum, um, all the Golgi bodies, and anything else that you would find in your cell. This occurs after the chromosomes separate. So first priority is get that DNA duplicated and push it to two ends of the cell, and then everything else splits up so that the two new cells have matching organelles and matching DNA instructions. This forms two ide identical things we call daughter cells. In cytokinesis, there's something called a cell plate that forms. This is a cell plate forming in plant cells. So here's the cell wall. This is the, these are the two new nuclei and you can see right here down the middle this is the cell plate that's going to eventually split that single cell into two new ones. In animal cells we call this a cleavage furrow so inside this is one cell the DNA has already duplicated and then um, moved to the ends of the cell and you can see where the cell is going to kind of close in on itself and make a division between the two new places. And here's that cell plate in animal cells. So this is the, just the beginning of the cell cycle, an overview, and then we'll get into uh, more specifics about mitosis and meiosis in our next few presentations.